anyways, uh, I should have right here really close. Cause I wrote down a recipe a couple of days ago. There it is. Okay. Yeah, you have to preheat the oven to 350. On this oven, it's straight down. But you know, it's been a coincidence for the last three or four things I have cooked in here. It's been a coincidence. And here it is, verified on video again. Look here. Verify, verify this for me. Uh, see if I'm not right. The 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 dial on this stove right here for 350 straight down there. You know more or less. Yeah. Okay. And the clock up there is six o'clock more or less. Mm -hmm. So it's in line. So it, I was I was cooking something the other day and the temperature was on this on this right here it was over that way on the four and this hand right here was on the seven. So. I'm thinking just, you know, whatever temperature is, just line it up with the clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That works for me. So, but I have butter. All the dude is, uh, he, he's done already built this uh, electric. Volkswagen, uh, some kind of bus, but but you know I think I know how to make this. I was thinking about the other day, and now being I, I tell you something you have to take in consideration. <laughs> See if you don't agree to this. Um, Whatever you're dealing with first takes precedent of the clock, mm -hmm. and because there's no, uh, it might work out later. But but see, I need to turn this on about right down here on the four. Okay, see, I don't have I don't have nothing up here to line that up with. So you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it straight down and put everything in line. I mean, that'd be a little bit hot, but it it. It's butter. So, oh yeah. That's the reason I got these peaches the other day. That'd be a good use for that skillet there. But you know everybody says it's better in cast iron. What are you making? Me? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. A cobbler. A peach cobbler? Yeah. Mm hmm Actually, you have to bake this for about 45 minutes. It's not quick. Well, see, that's really good right there at that temperature right there. So it proves out. It'll be in the vicinity of straight up, lining up every time, I think. Actually, that dude down in Mississippi, Uncle Raggy, that I, I think I no, it wasn't. It was somebody else that was trying to tell me this tale about uh, the reason this ca reason this cast iron is so rough on the inside is when they was making it when at the foundry when it was really really hot or maybe on assembly line they heated it up really hot. And they sprayed something in there like soybean oil. And it was supposed to coat the inside of this skillet with some kind of coating nonstick. You know, the dude believed it and sent it on to me, that message. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't.
he buy that? If it, if if that's the reason it was a failure, I don't know. I think if that was the reason, there'd be a lot more of them out there like that. Well, evidently they are, because people left a comment about it. Said they had one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it might be then. And said it was a good thing. Oh, it's possible then. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to agree with them. Is the reason I'm using this. Otherwise, I'd have it in a glass bowl. But you know, they say it tastes better. I thought you had a good cobbler pan. I do. Oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> That's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Put that flour in there. Down. One and a half cups of flour. And... You know, there's where you have to make the decision. Do you use self-rising or plain? I think I'm going to use self-rising. I'm glad I measured that because I wouldn't have been right on it. That's two cups. So, uh, I wrote down a cup and a half, so I'm going I'm to I'm hold that over just a minute. Oh, that's going to be good right there. Let's put that sugar in there. That's two cups, and I'm going to hold back on that. That's too much, I guess. But, I think I'm supposed to put some milk in there too. One and a half cups. I'm just going to put it in there like about that much. I'm sure that's about right. But what'd you have for lunch today? I had a salad. Yeah, I'm just going to put the rest of that flour in there. You know, I'm not going to put that back in the bag. And that sugar, I'm just going to put that in there too. So. See, that's a little lumpy. I wonder why that's a little lumpy. But anyways, uh, butter and peaches and uh, milk and sugar and flour and some some ground cinnamon. Cinnamon. Michigan or Ohio or somewhere like that uh, sent me these spices. So, the, 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 dude, the dude shops at Aldi's, you know. Mm-hmm. So, this is at all these ground cinnamon. Well, about that much. That looks a little light, do not it? But I think it's, uh, the, it's kind of, that's pretty good. You probably put that in some ice cream and it would be really good. I think that right there is pretty much good to go myself. But you know I like to put a little salt in something. You know what I mean? If you put sugar in something, I always think, just just in the culinary world, uh, salt and sugar are complementary in cooking. Did you know that? Uh, I did not. So anytime you put salt, anytime you put... Uh, Oh, that's a bunch. And we'll put some more. Uh, anytime you put sugar in something, you put some salt in it, and it'll be better. Mm -hmm. You know. I feel I ought to put something else in there. You know, some cornmeal. But. But 
that's all you are to it except put these peaches in there their whole can you just drop them off in there like that what's <laughs> gonna be good right there I mean, that's all they are to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, put that in the oven for about 45 minutes. You know that, uh, just turn that on. And observe the time, 15 past. That's important, even to the point where you might want to write it 30 down. 30 minutes in. I think it's going to take another 30 minutes. High side of 350 degrees. 45 minutes later, this is what you get. And I did turn it that way one time, and this way one time, about 15 minutes apart. I did do that. You know, put the front and the, the back and the back in the front. Forty-five minutes, and I'm not sure it's done. We're probably going to probe that. They teach you this up at the culinary school. With a, you, you poke a stick in there. You know that comes out pretty clean. I think we're good to go there. But you know what? I'm going to shave some butter off on there. Some butter chunks, a couple of them. Kind of work to side. I think that's enough. You know, it's, it's cool what kind of peaches you have, I think. But I'm kind of now leaning towards a little more sugar. It just set it right there. Well, that looks pretty good. That looks real good. Let's give it a try. I think it's spot on. Mm -hmm. If you just follow the video, just follow the video. It was pretty easy too, wasn't it? Real easy. It seemed quick, but it wasn't. 45 minutes, exactly. But anyways, they got this pioneer woman out yonder in Kansas somewhere or another, North Dakota, out there on the desert, stuck out there with all of these kids, this real large family, on television. Have you seen her? Mm-mm. Hmm? -mm. No. Red-headed girl. Um. Anyway, she done got a TV program. This woman had advertises in the in the big books, you know. But the girl can cook. But I think she would have made this. You know. I don't know who, who is that. I don't know her. Pioneer woman on TV. You want to take us home? No. Huh? No. Would the kids eat? Uh, Told it all worm. No, you ought to eat that. Well, I can bake nothing in about 45 minutes. <laughs> you think I'll eat it? Yeah. Well, tote it, it over there. Put a tinfoil on it. Get it over your other drawer when you get ready to go. Because that's pretty good. They'll like it.